I am an Austin resident and I'm an animal rights advocate. I'm here to speak on the matter of the Austin Aquarium. I believe this is a very serious matter as I believe non-human animals are not an it. They are not something, they are someone. As you may know, the Austin Aquarium has been embroiled in legal troubles for several years. In 2018, the city of Austin filed a lawsuit against the aquarium for operating without per proper permits, violating building codes and mistreating animals, including sharks and other marine life. The aquarium was also fined $150,000 by the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality in 2019 for discharging waste into the local sewer systems. In 2020, a former employee filed a lawsuit against the aquarium alleging that she was fired for reporting safety violations and animal, and, and animal mistreatment to management. The aquarium has denied any wrongdoing, but the lawsuits remain ongoing, and it remains open to the public. However, allowing visitors to swim with and touch wild animals, as the Austin Aquarium does, is a violation of animal welfare and conservation principles. Wild animals belong in their natural habitats, not in captivity for human entertainment. The Austin Aquarium's practices subject these animals to unhealthy and stressful conditions, which can lead to physical and psychological issues. Additionally, these interactions put both the animals and humans at risk of injury and disease. Society must recognize the value of all living beings and work towards promoting ethical and sustainable practices that respect their welfare and conservation. As an Austin resident, I have concerns about the Austin Aquarium's practices and that it is still ongoing. It allows public encounters with these wild animals and has a history of allowing visitors to interact with these animals and being injured. Online reviews recount disturbing experiences including disgusting facilities and enclosures and animals forced to live in cramped, squalid conditions where they are prodded by the public all day without monitoring. PETA's investigation in 2022 revealed that the Austin Aquarium denied reptiles needed veterinary care, leaving them to die. During the investigation, a lemur was held in, so in solitary confinement and workers recounted that some snakes had gone missing while others were found dead in the facility. It is crucial to promote ethical and sustainable practices that respect animal welfare and conservation and we must work towards a future where all animals, including these wild animals, can live free from exploitation and interference. We should be just as appalled about the mistreatment of these animals as we are about the mistreatment of animals like cats and dogs. Just because they don't bark or meow doesn't mean they are any less deserving of our protection. Last remark, you as the city council has the power to do something about it, so please do something about it. Thank you.